Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, May the 12th. It's the fourth week of Easter and week three in the Psalm cycle. And today we also remember the life and the ministry of Brother Roger of Taze. The scripture for this service, Psalm 40. David gives thanksgiving for deliverance and prays for God's mercy and steadfast love. And Wisdom, chapter 6, verse 12 to 23, Solomon teaches us that wisdom seeks those who desire her. Now please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Listen to God's voice today and harden not your hearts as in the desert long ago when our forebears provoked God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Hallelujah, Psalm 40. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. You brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. You set my feet upon a high rock and established my paths, and you have put a new song in my mouth. Praise to you, our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in you. Blessed are they that put their trust in you, and do not respect the proud, nor liars. Many are your wonderful works and your plans for us. None can be compared to you. If I would tell and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. In your book it is written of me that I delight to do your will, O my God. Yes, your law is written in my heart. I preached righteousness in the great congregation. You know that I have not kept quiet. I have not hidden your justice within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness nor your truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your tender love from me, my beloved God. Let your loving kindness and your truth always preserve me. For innumerable evils have crowded in on me. My sins have taken hold of me so that I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and I lose heart. Be pleased, O beloved God, to deliver me. O my God, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek to destroy me. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let them that love your salvation always say, God most high be glorified. I am poor and needy, and yet you remember me. You are my helper and my savior. O oh my God. Do not delay. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Hallelujah. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, beginning at verse 12. Wisdom is radiant and unfading. She is easily discerned by those who love her and is found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known to those who desire her. One who rises early to seek her will have no difficulty, for she will be found sitting at the gate. To fix one's thought on her is perfect understanding. And one who is vigilant on her account will soon be free from care, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she graciously appears to them in their paths, and meets them in every thought. 
The beginning of wisdom is the most sincere desire for instruction, and concern for instruction is love of her. And love of her is the keeping of her laws, and giving heed to her laws is assurance of immortality. And immortality brings one near to God, so the desire for wisdom leads to a kingdom. Therefore, if you delight in thrones and scepters, O monarchs over the peoples, honor wisdom, so that you may reign forever. I will tell you what wisdom is, and how she came to be, and I will hide no secrets from you. But I will trace her course from the beginning of creation, and make knowledge of her clear, and I will not pass by the truth. Nor will I travel in the company of sickly envy, for envy does not associate with wisdom. The multitude of the wise is the salvation of the world, and a sensible king is the stability of any people. Therefore be instructed by my words, and you will profit. Here ends the lesson. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you, we praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. None can be compared to you, O God. Remember your people and be our help when you hear our cry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. 